quick review of Java. So the recent model that has been launched. So I still remember earlier they used to uh, mix kerosene along with petrol and they used to uh, run Java. So let's see how this latest Java is. So I got this Java uh, 42 for uh, 2,28,000 including insurance uh, in Bangalore. So I'm going to explain is it really worth to pay 2,28,000 and uh, how is the review of this, how is the performance, how is the comfort of this bike, everything I'm going to explain. And uh, also I'm going to give a quick uh, comparison between uh, uh, Java and Royal Enfield. Uh, the reason why I'm going to do that is because while I, I thought about buying this bike, I had a confusion whether I should go for Java or uh, uh, Royal Enfield 350cc. So I'm just going to give a quick uh, comparison and again, both are legends in its own way. So there is no true comparison between them because they just are amazing. And one other thing is I have actually learned how to drive bike on uh, the old Java and SD. So you could actually see my dad uh, who is standing with the SD. So those are the models that from which I have learned how to drive the bike. So I am pretty sure how the old model was and uh, the silencer of it was just amazing. The sound that it used to produce. And uh, so I have a lot of love for the old Java as well. So in this video, I'm just going to give a small comparison between the old Java that was there and the new one that is there. So please do make sure you are going to watch till the end because I'm going to explain some of the good things and also some of the uh, things that could have been done better as well so that you get a clear idea if you should uh, go for this and uh, if there is something that you really love about java then just comment below what is that you really love about it so this is how the key looks where it's also written java on that so now let me show you how to unlock the handle and uh, how to start the bike okay so this is where uh, you get the locking system for the bike just have to rotate it upwards okay and uh, it's the same key what you're going to use for turning the ignition on okay so now you could see the odometer also that is there uh, which shows the indication now let me actually show you how the odometer also looks so the odometer just looks classic and uh, it just uh, gives a great look for the bike also so you have the fuel indicator here and you also have the speedometer that is there and you see the kilometers that it has run uh, the neutral, neutral indicator and uh, you have the uh, left and right uh, switches here and you could see uh, it also blinks there right so let me just turn off that now now let me show you how the bike looks from the front so this is how uh, it looks and one thing is if you see from the far you can still feel the same old uh, java feel that is there the uh, real feel of java you can still feel that so it's the real feel of Java with uh, the latest technologies which is inbuilt so that it's really optimized so that uh, uh, you can actually rely more on this bike. So this is how it looks in the front and this uh, light will always be on. So let me just show you. So this is how the front wheel looks with uh, a disc brake that is there and uh, these brakes are really effective uh, while I was driving at uh, decent speed. Uh, because I have still not done the first servicing so I was not really rushing on this bike but I could really feel that the brakes are really uh, fantastic and uh, you can drive confidently on this bike so that's how uh, it has been designed and uh, the real great feeling for me is still seeing the spokes because in the latest bikes you tend to see alloy wheels and things like that and this is something that uh, really gives the feel of the old uh, Java that we had so the spokes that are there and uh, you get with the MRF tires so this is how it looks uh, and this is the look from the front so the indicators are small that's the reason why they are actually giving a great uh, look for the bike as well so let me actually show you how the handle is so one good uh, thing about this handle is it's uh, slightly wider that means you can actually uh, hold it really comfortably and it's really uh, good for us in uh, taking the turns or driving in heavy traffic you really don't feel a lot of uncomfort so I really felt uh, very comfortable uh, with slightly longer handle so this is how you can say it let me just quickly show you okay and again on the tank also you can see Java so Java has written almost uh, everywhere 
so now let's actually come now let's come to the actual uh, things so you get a 300 cc engine it's not exactly 300 cc i think it's around 293 cc uh, and you can actually see the way they have uh, designed this where like they have tried really to make it compact okay so in that way you can see that okay it's compact and there is no extra space that is left uh, in between in that way it also gives a lot more uh, uh, legendary look for this bike because uh, there is complete space utilization and things like that and one thing is earlier java we always used to feel that okay it used to produce a lot of heat okay and uh, many times people would have burned their legs also with the silencer that is there so with the current java whatever we have we actually have a liquid cooled uh, liquid cooling system so in that way it's a lot more effective and you don't uh, feel so much of heat like earlier so this is one great uh, advantage of in this current time i would say so not so much of heat like earlier right so this is how it looks and this also gives really uh, elegant look for the bike as well and you can actually see the gearbox that is there so this is something that uh, they have tried almost to retain the old uh, design so that's where it actually gives that uh, legendary look as well and uh, as always when it comes to java it's always about the twin silencer that is there so let me show you how exactly it looks so the beauty is they have almost tried to retain the same look of the silencer so let me just show you from all the side okay so you could see the silencer looks almost similar to what it was earlier so if you see here it says uh, original java 1929 which actually gives that uh, great feeling and also you really feel happy if you are a true lover of java we are seeing that uh, the brand and when it was established it's actually a great feeling i would say and uh, that's where the horn is and uh, it has been uh, really great the way they have come back and this is a real killer right now but certainly there are things that they could have done better so which is also that is i'm something that i'm going to explain so the first part i would say is like uh, probably they could do much more better with uh, the paint and other thing that is there because at some parts i was seeing that okay uh, it's not so great finish so you can see here that okay it's not such a great finish that is there that means there is still a better work that can be done and uh, one other thing is so the seating is really comfortable for us to drive uh, it's not uh, too high or not too low so the sitting position is really uh, great for one but however the seat is slightly harder so uh, it might not be so effective or something for uh, us but i think that might not be uh, such a huge problem but i felt that it's slightly harder uh, uh, seat okay and uh, now coming to the uh, rear view so this is how it looks and they also have a, a light that is right above the name pl number plate so this is how it looks and again you could see there is a slight uh, uh, issue here where the alignment is not exactly the center that means so these are the minute things that they can certainly take care and uh, that is something that has to be improved now is this java really worth it or is it really worth it to buy for uh, 2 lakh plus uh, i am not here to compare with uh, the bikes but uh, i see that okay uh, even while i was willing to purchase a bike i had a confusion with uh, should i go for royal enfield 360 350 cc or uh, java so here is my quick uh, small comparison and both are legends in its own way so there is definitely not a uh, thing for us to compare but uh, if you compare a uh, couple of things so then probably you can decide so the first thing is coming to the price of uh, java so this is at least around 20000 higher than um, royal enfield 350 cc and uh, second most important thing if you consider the speed so java outbeats uh, royal enfield in the speed uh, in the initial pickup or whatever it is because uh, this is slightly uh, lighter bike but uh, with more power i would say so i really don't want to get into the drag race to uh, prove that there are already multiple videos that have been created uh, where uh, they have done a drag race with the java and uh, uh, bullet 350 cc royal enfield 350 cc and java clearly beats with respect to speed so though this bike is around 179 kilos 
still while you are driving you really feel it light so that's how they have optimized so that you actually get a comfortable ride so whereas if you take it uh, royal enfield 350 cc it's around uh, 20 kilo 15 to 20 kg uh, heavier than this bike so now actually comes to the point like okay let's also see the sound of this because that's uh, most important thing about java because the earlier java if there was something that i really loved it was the sound of the twin silencer so does this bike really give that kind of uh, uh, sound that we loved okay so because this is a four stroke engine which has been well optimized to give a good performance and they say that okay we, okay, we can expect anywhere around 32 to 35 uh, mileage from this bike so let's see how the sound of it is let me just turn on the engine So now let me just try to race it a bit and you can uh, see how the sound comes. So sound is something good but I wouldn't say it's great because uh, the old uh, Java had its uh, legendary sound that used to be there and again as I said this is a 4 stroke uh, engine and this is the kind of typical sound that you get with a 4 stroke engine and uh, it doesn't feel uh, too uh, noisy or something and it doesn't irritate uh, that means you can still uh, drive comfortably and one good uh, thing about this is this actually comes with 6 gear okay so it's a 1 down and uh, 5 up okay and if you see with the royal enfield 350cc it comes with 5 gear so in that way you have an edge where like uh, you can really uh, uh, go at much higher speeds on the highway and things like that so that's the beauty with this so this is how it looks the legend which is <laughs> back and i'm really happy to have this at home if you have to consider uh, uh, royal enfield 350cc or java uh, as I said, both are legends and uh, one thing that uh, I was I could clearly notice is like uh, you can see uh, Royal and en uh, Enfield everywhere right now everywhere literally everywhere, but uh, When a Java goes on the street certainly it catches that attention because there are not too many Java right now on the street So I called uh, the showroom and told about the flaws that were there and they were really okay for uh, them to fix it completely so they asked me to get the bike and uh, they made sure everything was right and one thing with the tank is like uh, these are not completely machine uh, sprayed so that's where like you see a little bit of uh, rough finish but that's how uh, these are uh, uh, done so that was uh, still fine and again they also fixed the uh, backside uh, uh, reflector as well so after they fixed this uh, couple of small issues uh, it's really looking fantastic and uh, I'm really happy the way uh, we drive on this bike. It's just amazing and uh, I'm a fan of Java again from the old Java that was there. So great bike. So you could see that now after uh, they fixed it, uh, the reflector is looking perfectly right. And one other beauty is we can actually alter the uh, silencer sound to uh, sound a lot more like the old Java. So uh, that setting is there within uh, the Java itself. So all they do is they uh, slightly uh, cut the welding that is there on the silencer and they would slightly push it inside and the sound would be altered. So here is the sound of one of the Java which has that uh, modification done. So probably I am thinking to get it on my bike as well. So let me show you how it actually sounds. And it really felt amazing. So let's see that. So 
that's about it how it looks and uh, certainly uh, probably in the next video i'll take this bike out and uh, do a video as well so if you really like this video just comment so that i can create a next video and if you really didn't like also just comment below what you didn't like about the way i explained or whatever it would be and uh, and if you like something about java just let me know what you liked okay so see you in the next video